former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Dinga. And let me tell you, the politics of Luo Nyanza is controlled in Kisumu. Uh, Kisumu is a place where you want to know who is going to be the member of parliament, who's going to be the governor, who's going to be the senator, who's going to be the women rep. Kisumu sort of is a central nerve of the Luo community. And for that reason, uh, Prime Minister Raila Molodinga, former Prime Minister Raila Molodinga, will be very keen on who is clinching that position of the governor of Kisumu. As it is, there's confusion. Confusion is... Governor Jack Raguma seemed to be having, uh, you know, having a warn in one side announced by the deputy registrar, uh, I mean deputy returning officer, and on the other hand, um, Professor Nyangyongo also declared the winner by a registrar himself. And so the question here will be, who has the mandate and the power to basically announce the winner, the gubernatorial uh, winner of Kisumu County? That is yet to be decided on. But remember there are hierarchies here. There is election, um, uh, uh, election board, Kisumu election board that also controls the election in Kisumu. And these people have not come out to talk, neither have they come out to uh, give their support either to Governor Aguma or to Gov uh, Professor Nyongo. For that reason, I think it is something that we need to wait for before it is declared who becomes a winner in this case. But you know, I have interest in Kisumu, and so <laughs> yes. I, I will be a little bit biased. <laughs> 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 but you know, uh, my friend Dr. Hezron uh, uh, Otieno has been really, really working hard in Kisumu. <coughs> and, um, and, and now the figures you're getting is coming uh, a third, you know, from all, uh, you know, corners. But Governor Raguma is coming from Kano, and Professor Nyongo is coming from Seme. Seme is relatively a very small constituency. Kano is producing... Um, um, Governor Aguma, and then you have Dr. Hezron Macobel on the other side. There have been fears, you know, uh, fighters of, of, you know, really going after one another's necks. And uh, the hopes were that one of them will become the governor, and I know that one of them will become the governor. The problem, however, was complicated when uh, the senator, the strongest person who was running for the senatorial position, um, um, uh, Fred Outa, was also coming from Kano. And then you had uh, um, uh, the, um, the women rep also coming from Kano. And so at one point, people were wondering whether Kano was going to produce the women rep, the senator, uh, the um the the um the governor and, and as well as you know the other positions that are there right. but as it is now what we are seeing is people have taken sides um, seems like uh, Dr. Marco, uh, uh, Hezron Marco Bella is, is quiet. I don't know what he's is, is doing now, but I believe you also need to come out with these figures and tell the world what has gotten out there. He must have been having agents in all the polling stations, and therefore he should be able to say, these are the numbers. If okay. Dr. Marco Bella says these are the numbers, uh, Ranguma says these are the numbers, and Professor Nyongo says these are the numbers, I believe people will have to come down sit and decide on who is the legitimate winner of the government. Of that poll. Right. Uh, just let me cut you short because uh, I just want to give context to the images that we are seeing. Uh, this is live coming from Kisumu. Uh, protests uh, in 